What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new action figure news today, and it's not regarding WWE action figures, but today we're getting into some AEW action figure stuff, and actually today I went on a toy hunt for some AEW figures, and you guys will probably see that in an upcoming video this next few days, so I guess stay tuned to see what happens on that toy hunt, but today, guys, we got some AEW action figure news, and I do want to give a huge shout-out to Wrestling Figure News Source on Twitter, WrestleFig News, if you guys want to go check them out. They are a great source for action figures your news and stuff like that if you have a twitter account be sure to follow me as well at my damn toys but getting into it here today i got some stuff to uh, relay to you guys from the head guy over at jazzwares wicked cool toys in the leader of the all elite wrestling action figures that we love to collect so far and it is courtesy of jeremy padauer here and uh, he went live on instagram i do believe uh the other day and he answered a bunch of questions so i have a bunch of information here for you guys to cover i think this is definitely some useful information and some great information so i wanted to pass it on to you guys so let's go ahead and dive into it guys starting out first the first one here is you will see it says aew international they will be in walmart and toys r us in canada as well as smith's in the uk info courtesy of jeremy padauer and so this is huge news for any international collectors if you guys are up in canada if you guys are in the uk i know i have a lot of UK fans out there that check out the channel all the time so huge news for you guys they will be available at Smith's and they will be available not only at Walmart but also Toys R Us in Canada which I think is the only locations that are staying and remaining open there may be a few here in the states but I know Canada has a lot more Toys R Us that are operational still but that is huge you know uh, they are getting that UK exclusive Cody figure with the ring so that is another big thing and I'm actually in the process of trying to track one of those down so maybe I can get a review in here but that is very big news. I know, I know a lot of people were asking if they would be available in the UK, so Smiths, there you go. If you want to track these figures down, I don't have a date for you guys just yet, but I would imagine it would be very soon. They should be hitting the UK, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Next up, guys, we have another information thing going on for AEW figures, and this is very big right here. It says AEW at Target. AEW figures will be at Target in spring 2021 as long as all goes smoothly. Info courtesy of Jeremy Padauer again, and Jeremy down below there says true there. So this is very big news as well. AEW figures will be coming to Target, so that way I can have another store to try and fail at trying to capture these things at. That was just a joke, but seriously though, these figures are very hard to come by, so having another store like Target to carry these figures will be very big for collectors so that, you know, we're not just sitting, you know, we're not just sitting there at, at a couple Walmarts, one Walmart, so this will now give me three stores to shop at for these, and this is really big news. I'm very excited to see this. Maybe we'll get some Target exclusive stuff. I don't know if we're going to get some, you know, retail exclusives moving forward with AEW figures figures but this is very big news i am excited to find these at target in 2021 so this will be the start of 2021 or you know spring 2021 by that time we should be on like series four five possibly six i mean who, who the hell knows at what rate these figures are going to be releasing at I, I heard every couple months so maybe we will be on series four at least by the time we get to spring 2021 but there's aew figures at target it says aew series two it will ship out of hong kong in september it can take six to eight weeks to arrive to retailers appro approximately mid to late october in stores all COVID issues aside. So I guess this means that uh, we should be expecting AEW Series 2 to hit ringside and Walmart as mid to late October. And that's pretty big news. You know, I, I felt like they were supposed to hit in September, but I think, you you know, pandemic issues as all of that. I mean, that's pretty much, that describes 2020. Pandemic delays and pandemic issues have came into effect with just all over. I mean, I think every single industry has faced some sort of issue or delay due to the pandemic, of course, which makes a whole lot of sense here. But underneath Underneath that picket pride right here comments and says mid to late October at Walmart or at ringside and then WrestleFig News comes back and says both so that means that not only are they going to arrive at ringside at mid to late October but also Walmart so if you guys pre-ordered series 2 this features John Moxley this features Dustin Rhodes Adam Hangman Page MJF that series right there as well as the Lucha Brothers that set will be hitting ringside and Walmart mid to late October so I don't know if that is going to happen in the future I'm guessing when the pandemic issues are over I'm guessing that ringside I will start to get the figures first. That just makes the most sense. But I guess you guys can expect AEW Series number 2 to hit October mid to late there. And I'm excited for that, man. I think Series 2 is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I think the skin tones are supposed to be improved there. So that is another reason why we should pick up these figures. Next up, guys, we have sort of a playset type question right here. It says, AEW entrance stage. If they do it in the future, it would probably be a cardboard style version. Subject to change, of course, info courtesy of Jeremy Padauer. So I'm guessing this would be a lot like we got with the SmackDown, uh, the Smackdown stage and the Raw stage that we saw from Ringside Collectibles. You guys know that it was like $14 or something or $10 or something like that for 
not only the SmackDown stage, you could get the Raw stage. We did a review of it here on the channel, and that thing was kind of crappy. I would hope that it would be a lot of, you know, a lot more sturdy than the one that we got uh, with the SmackDown and Raw stages. So hopefully, you know, I, like I, I think I used it for like one show on Vindication, and it was just terrible. Like it was so hard to post figures on that thing. So I think for a display, it works, and just photography maybe. But if you're constantly posing on it and trying to get like a pick fed segment or you know guys walking down the entrance ramp and stuff like that very difficult to pose on so I would hope if we do get an entrance stage and it is cardboard I would hope that it would be a lot more sturdy than the ones that we did get before but uh that's uh you know that's pretty cool AEW entrance stage that would be very nice to see and I don't know why this just popped in my head but you guys remember that entrance stage that was shown off at comic-con a couple years ago and everybody wanted that thing I wonder whatever happened to that big smackdown WWE figure entrance stage I feel like Toys R Us going under probably hurt the the process of that a lot but uh that's just something that popped in my head I know I put it in the background of my videos a lot of the time so I don't know I, I feel like we need that thing man that thing would be epic to especially to customize but next up guys we have another deal here it says AEW manager figures they are definitely a possibility examples being Arn Anderson and Taz for future releases and that is another big thing you know one thing I will say about AEW figures that I want to see is that with Mattel, we do not have any suited bodies. Every suited body is way too big or way too, like, puffy and, like, in the chest area. They're massive or they're really, really tall. I want to see a slim down version of a suited body. So, like, I want to have... I want to be able to put Finn Balor in a suit. I want to be able to put AJ Styles in a suit. I want to be able to put smaller guys in suits. And I know you could say the J and J security, but those weren't elites. They were very hard to pose around, and those were super short. I think we need... And the, the torso was still a little bit too bulky. I want to see a slim version of that. Like, if you guys have ever seen the Chameleon from the Marvel Legends figures, that is a perfect example. That one's way too small, obviously, compared to Mattel figures, or I would have already made a suited body for the Mattel figures, but that is something I really want to see. I want to see not only manager figures, but suited body figures for Cody, for Jericho, for whoever the hell. I really want suited bodies so that we can have... I want to see this from Mattel as well. I want to have wrestling figures that can be in suits for promos and, you know, contract signings and all kinds of backstage-ish. That is what I want to see. And uh, I think the best one they've probably ever done is probably my figure with the, the Mean Gene Okerlund. But I still think they need to get, like, the pants are still a little bit too baggy. You guys know that guys like to wear, like, tight pants with their suits and stuff like Finn Balor and other guys like that. So I really want to see suited bodies that are slimmer and look nicer in figure form. But I don't know, it's a little off topic, but I wanted to add that in there. But I would love to see some manager guys from AEW figures. Next up, guys, we have another playset coming soon. It's a Sammy Guevara with golf cart. So Sammy with the golf cart is in the works for a future release. We may see Sue with the van as a possibility too down the line. This is directly from Jeremy Padauer via his Instagram live. So, he, so Sammy with the golf cart is actually in in the works. I can't wait for this. I think that is absolutely fantastic that we are going to get a golf cart for the backstage area. Can you imagine Kevin Owens running someone over with this thing in an extreme championship match? Can you imagine something happening with the Sammy Guevara and golf cart accessory? I love this. You know, we never got our mower with lawn or mower of lawns with the Matt Hardy and the ultimate deletion set. So this would be a perfect placeholder for that. Giving me a golf cart would make up for that just a little bit. I still want to see the mower of lawn, but I really want to see a Sammy with golf cart. Not a, not a big Sammy golf of our fan to be honest with you but the golf cart accessory gives us plenty of stuff that we can do in the backstage area wrestlemania x7 vibes with the hardcore championship that would be beautiful to see and i already could see you know some people getting some great photography in with that golf cart so that is a big thing and then we obviously got the teaser on ringside collectibles and by jeremy where he posted up sue with the van and this is obviously about the best friends in aew another beautiful set i would love to see a van to add to the vehicle collection of our wwe and aew action figure collection so I'd be all in for this. Any place sets they want to release, I will definitely buy them and, and pick them up for, for future things. So that is beautiful for me. I'd love any vehicles they release, but this is excellent. It says that the golf cart is in the works, so I'm excited for that coming soon. And then the last thing we have here, not an AEW style thing, but I guess it's kind of related. It says UFC Series 2. Jeremy will be revealing sculpts for Wave 2 sometime tomorrow. So this is actually today. So be on the lookout for the UFC Series 2, guys. They will be AEW style and scale with no butterfly joints, but Series 3 may see butterfly joints return. You guys know that the UFC figures are being made by Jazzwares as well. And the Series 1, they ran into some scaling issues. So Series 1 that can be also found at Walmart. It will be part of the same modular you will find at Walmart if you find the AEW figures. They are underneath the modular there. 
and they are uh, they are a little bit too small. But I think uh, the the Moving forward, they are going to actually be in scale with AEW and WWE figures, so that is perfect. We love to see that, and I know a lot of people were complaining about the size and the scaling of those figures, so seeing that improve, seeing that actually fixed in future ways. I know they don't have butterfly joints for Series 2, but coming back in Series 3, they may see them return, but uh, that's big stuff. I, I, am, I am excited for that wave, and I know a lot of people were disappointed in the scaling, so hopefully we can get those improved, and that will be all that, but that is all of the AEW figure news that I have for you guys. Um, a lot of good stuff here. I think that you guys will be excited for that, especially the UK collectors. We are going to get these figures at Smith's. We got some play sets coming soon. AEW figures coming to Target in 2021. Lots of good stuff coming in, and we got a lot of news revealed to you guys there. But I think that is it. Um, again, I probably have a toy hunt coming in the next few days. I got some things in the other day for uh, Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. I don't know when that's going to drop. I'm just kind of playing it by ear because I got to. It's probably going to take me a whole day to film that video. So I am trying to get everything ready for that. But I think that is going to do it for the AEW figure news video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.